Hey guys, what's up? Chris here from BeardGeekNation.com. Today we are looking at a release from Alpine and Green Flash. This, this is their Hoppy Birthday, a session IPA coming in at like five, five and a half percent. So it's a little bit high for a session beer. Pick this one up at QualityLiquorStore.com. You can have it shipped directly to you. Why is this beer so special? Well, if you remember about a year, year and a half ago, it might even be two years ago at this point, Green Flash decided to partner up with Alpine Brewing, a very small brewery. Uh, they decided to bring in some of the Alpine recipes and they released them um, using the Alpine Brewing system and they released them in draft only essentially. Um, and reactions were mixed. Uh, Alpine has a very, very good pedigree of brewing amazing hoppy beers. I've had mo a lot of them and they're just fantastic. Uh, so when people heard Green Flash were gonna start brewing their beers, they were a little bit nervous, a little bit hesitant. Uh, for me, Green Flash is, just hasn't been up to, to, to par of late. I think they've kind of, the quality's kind of dropped off in the last maybe two years or so. Um, so you could see why people would be hesitant. So Green Flash now is bottling Alpine beers and releasing them. And this, I believe, is one of the first ones. Um, it's the, you know, it's the Alpine label, but it's still a Green Flash bottle. It's an Alpine cap uh, brewed at Alpine, and hopefully it's good. What is Hoppy Birthday? It's a session IPA consisting of six different hops. Um, again, so I've had this maybe three or four times on draft, and it's really, really a solid session beer, one of the better session IPAs I've had. So let me get this one with glass so you guys know it smells, tastes, and get the final verdict on the Alpine. Happy birthday. All right, guys, the aroma. Well, it smells nice. Big orange, pine needle, lemon, like lemon zest, a little bit of maltiness in there, a dry biscuity maltiness. Really, really nice kind of West Coast kind of pop to it. Nice stuff. I guess the taste on the happy birthday. Cheers. Huh. All right. Um, yeah, wow. Right the front of the tongue. Big pop of dry, dry bitterness. Kind of an undiscerning flavor. Just a big, dry, kind of chalky, pithy bitterness. Middle of the mouth, a little bit of grapefruit, some pine needle, bready, bready malts, very crackery, bready. I'm getting like a tea flavor, like a tea leaf kind of flavor in there, which is a little bit weird, a little bit off-putting. It almost tastes like an older IPA, even though I know this beer is pretty fresh. Uh, there's definitely like a tea flavor though. Um, again, lemon, orange, in the aftertaste, incredibly dry, crushingly dry. Uh, again, like a weird lingering chalky bitterness. It almost reminds me of like the white stuff on the inside of an orange peel. If you've ever eaten that, that's what it reminds me of. And it's really kind of lingering there. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's way overly bitter, I think. And there's not enough kind of uh, in between, between the bitter and the malt. There's no kind of fill flavors for lack of a better word, except for that weird tea flavor. It's okay. All right, guys, the final verdict on the Happy Birthday from Alpine, brewed by Green Flash. You can pick it up at qualityliquorstore.com. Guys, going to give this one a C plus. It's okay. It smells a lot better than it tastes. Um, again, uh, Green Flash for me, their hobby beers especially, have just kind of not been so great in the last year or so, and this one's kind of a good example of that. They're super bitter. It's almost like they're trying to make these things overly bitter to kind of compensate for an aged bottle or something. So you get all this bitterness in the front, amazingly bitter in the back, and it's not a pleasant bitter. It's like a chalky, dry bitter, um, and nothing in between. A little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of pine needles, you know, very, very West Coast, and that weird tea flavor in here is just bizarre. Um, so with that said, you know, it's, uh, excuse me, it's 5.25% alcohol by volume, so... With that said, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section below. Getting a C plus for me. Remember, folks, life's too short. Check amazing gears. Cheers.